Councillor King Duncan, then you've you've got responsibility for uh, highways at the well, it's not the North Yorkshire County Council anymore. It's the North Yorkshire Council, isn't it? And and, and part of that is um, is quite a significant project for Harrogate, which is the Gateway project. Can you just explain a little bit about the the background of that project? Because I know this. Basically, you've been offered some money, haven't you, to make some significant changes to not not just Harrogate but Skipton and and other areas. Could you just give us a little bit of the background of the project? Yes. Yeah, so for Harrogate, this is um, an eleven million pound investment opportunity, um, fundamentally to um, improve the public realm around the stations, um, to improve access to the stations, to promote sustainable travel as well. Um, the hope is that by doing this, this will become a more attractive corridor, a more welcoming corridor, um, and that people will want to spend more time within this area. At the moment, it's very congested, very busy. For some people, unwelcoming corridor to Harrogate. So this is a, an opportunity, £11 million worth of investment. It's been long awaited and a long time coming, but we are now finally approaching the point where we need to make a decision whether we proceed with this scheme um, or whether, in effect, we return that investment opportunity to government um, to spend elsewhere. And, and when you were sort of given that opportunity then, was it... Was it pretty much a blank sheet of paper then, or was it just with the remit that you said, you know, to um, to improve the sort of visitor experience and partic particularly around sort of trains, wasn't it? And well, trains, buses, and not cars really, wasn't it? Then cycles as well. Is that is that right? So this fundamentally is a, is a transport project. It's about rebalancing transport and travel within Harrogate. So. We know that in order to be sustainable in the future, we need to try and promote those who can, those who want to, those who are able to, to use other transport options than the car. So we want to try and promote walking and cycling where we can. We also want to promote public transport. So this particular scheme touches at the heart of all of that, all of our core approach to um, sustainable transport in Harrogate and across North Yorkshire. Um, by ensuring that people can access the rail station, the bus station, ensuring that people can walk and cycle safely in this corridor. They are all key parts of our approach. So fundamentally, this is a transport project, but it has that added benefit of improving the public realm, transforming this space and creating a much more welcoming corridor into Harrogate. So when, when the... The project was first talked about then i know the sort of part of the process has been putting through some options for the public to to look at and how, how do you go from you know a, a potential investment sum then to the kind of a um i suppose the initial kind of look of how how the money could be spent how's, how's the scheme developed i suppose across uh, you know along the way is what i'm really asking yeah, I mean, the scheme has evolved. It started off with consultation initially with the public. As you've mentioned, the gateway scheme in Harrogate is just one of three in North Yorkshire, one of several across um, the sort of West Yorkshire combined authority footprint. Um, the initial consultation showed broad support for all of the scheme's objectives and aims. The scheme was built based on that feedback. We've had two further consultations since then. We know that concerns have been expressed and with elements of the scheme in particular, um, the, 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 pro the suggestion that we will take two uh, lanes down to one, that seems to be the hot topic, the hot source of contention with this scheme. Um, but yeah, this fundamentally, this scheme has been built on public feedback. Um, and we're now at the stage where we need to make a decision. So we're going to report all of the consultation results, the final plans. We're going to report all of those to local members, to those people who are accountable to the public of Harrogate um, and responsible to them, for them to make a decision. That, for me, is the fairest way forward. So rather than myself 
saying this is what should happen, I'm going to dictate the outcome, we will allow local councillors to consider all the relevant information. Do they want to seize this £11 million opportunity or do they want us not to proceed? On a personal level, I'd like us to proceed. I think looking at this objectively, I think this will be a positive improvement for Harrogate. It takes us in a step in the right direction towards that um, balanced, sustainable transport solutions that we need to address Harrogate's problems. But ultimately, I will respect the decision that local councillors take. And the, the scheme, I think it's not, I think it takes a bit of effort, doesn't it, to understand what the scheme's about, and particularly as it's evolved. You know, you mentioned there about one of the sort of contentious points was around uh, the changing of the lanes, presumably along by the bus, you know, between the Victoria Centre and the, uh, the bus station. What, what's the scheme currently looking like at the moment? There's sort of elements that are going to be pedestrianised, aren't they? Can you just quickly give us an overview of what it would what it would look like, is, or the scheme that you're putting forward for to the councillors for for approval? Yeah. So fundamentally, the plans remain unchanged after the third consultation. But just sort of taking a sort of drive through a ride through this location, in effect, you've got. Um, the additional um, cycle lane that will be introduced. You've got the carriageway, two lanes becoming one. As you head along Station Parade on James Street, obviously there's the part pedestrianisation of that um, shopping street. And then as we head towards the roundabout, we will have the first Dutch-style roundabout in the north of England. Again, a positive improvement for those walking and cycling. It will make that roundabout much safer for people using those modes of transport. In terms of the effect on uh, motorised traffic, as part of this scheme as well, we will be revisiting all of the crossing points and junctions, making sure that they are fully optimised, that they are talking to each other so that we're not having unnecessary delays for motorised traffic. In total, all the modelling work that we have done shows that the impact on journey times, not just along Station Parade, but across this entire corridor, across this um, journey through Harrogate Town Centre, is no more than a minute. And that is the extra travel time at the busiest time of day, including all of the impact of all new development within Harrogate and does not factor in any shift of people um, using sustainable travel means, walking and cycling instead of their cars. So even under this worst case scenario, we're looking at um, a minute's worth, a matter of seconds uh, of, of extra travel time for motorised vehicles. And is, is that the area that sort of, the, the sort of been the point of contention then around the restriction for, for cars? I think certainly that has been the one of the difficulties, one of the hot topics that has arisen from this scheme. Um, obviously, the James Street pedestrianisation, there are there is opposition to that, but there is also support for that. In terms of the changes to the carriageway, again, um, there is support for that. People think this will help um, this, this area become a much more inviting corridor. It will help rebalance travel across Harrogate, but there is also opposition to that. I recognise um, that opposition, um, but we have done everything that we can in terms of air quality information, in terms of traffic modelling, mm -hmm. in terms of optimising those junctions to address those issues. And ultimately now I see my role as the executive member to report back all of this information to be clear, upfront and honest with local councillors to address any questions that they might have. But fundamentally, this needs to be their decision. This is, I think, a positive investment into Harrogate, but it will be their decision whether they want to accept this investment, whether they want this scheme to proceed. I think it would be a, a shame, I think it would be a travesty for Harrogate to reject this opportunity um 
But for me right now, after many years of waiting, my role is to bring this to a decision point once and for all. And we will proceed or we will return this investment to government. And I think that's an important point, isn't it? Because it's it, it's not a a budget that you can then use, you know, lo, lo, you know, in the early days of the consultation, people would say, oh, well, it would be better spent more towards the town centre. You know, that would be more beneficial. But am I right in thinking that's not how the budget was working in this case? You know, you didn't have the money to then spend across the, the town centre as you wish. There was some sort of conditions attached to it. Yeah, there's strong criteria and limitations to this funding. We have not just been given a, an £11 million cheque to spend how we want to spend it. Um, this has to tick boxes in terms of, yes, public realm improvements, but critically and perhaps most importantly, it has to meet the active travel requirements. So this scheme has to be built on those foundations. That has created a situation with very limited choices for us as a local authority. We've complied with those requirements um, and we have built what I think is an effective and positive scheme. But if we'd had an 11 million pound check, we may well have been able to do things differently to the way in which we have. But ultimately those plans are there and um, the decision point is now looming. And that, am I right, is it the 5th of May, is it when the county councillors make a decision on that? Yeah, so we'll have a special meeting of the Harrogate and Naresborough Area Constituency Committee. All of the locally elected councillors will meet together on the 5th of May. I will be there as well to um, give my input. Um, this is a key project, not just for Harrogate, but for North Yorkshire. Um, personally, I'm keen that it does proceed, but that's just my view as one individual and ultimately, hopefully, the collective view, the collective wisdom of those councillors who represent the people of Harrogate, it's right that they make this decision on the basis of all of the information before them.